Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers, two very irrational numbers. We have square root of 2 to the power square root of 7 and square root of 3 to the power itself. And we're going to try to find out which number is greater. To be able to do that, I'm going to walk you through some steps. Some of the um, steps may not make sense to you, but if you work backwards with what I give you, hopefully that'll make more sense. All right, that's how we kind of um, solve some problems very easily. It looks very easy to people, but when you try to do it, it's hard because you don't know where this comes from. Great, but you're going to have great discoveries along the way. So, in order to be, uh, be able to compare these, I'm going to look at the, the, the very basis here, the inside of the radicals. We have 2 and 3. So let's go ahead and take a look at powers of 2 and powers of 3. Let's list them. 2, 4, 8. I know this is fairly easy, but I think making a list of powers of 2 and 3 together will be very helpful uh, because you're going to see where they get closer. Okay, so we have this. And obviously, uh, powers of 3, they're just going to grow faster and faster. But anyways, so I've I just written a, a few terms here. And I noticed that um, there are some areas where they get closer. For example, 256 is pretty close to 243, right? Is there another one that is kind of close? Yes, and those are going to be the, not the 32, the 64 and the 81, sort of. I mean, 27 and, 30, 27 and 32 are also close. You could probably look at their ratios in, to see which one is better. But anyway, I'm just going to use these powers as an example. So I got, this is 2 to the 8th, by the way, and this is 2 to the 6th. This should be 3 to the 4th, and this should be 3 to the 5th. So I noticed that 2 to the 8th is greater than 3 to the 5th. Great. And 2 to the 6th is less than 3 to the 4th. Now, it would be really nice if you had these two inequalities in the same direction, because you could just multiply them. But here's the thing. How close are these numbers? Can we still multiply and get a large number from here? In other words, could it be true that 2 to the power 14 is greater than 3 to the power 9? So here's the thing. Uh, it is actually true. Let me tell you that. But why is it true? Uh, because the difference, the ratios between the numbers uh, are not the same. So when you multiply, uh, it makes a huge difference. Anyways, I hope that makes sense. It didn't make sense to me, but anyways. So, 2 to the power 14 is 16,384. Now, this might be a little easier to evaluate if you know 2 to the 10th power is 1,024. It has a 2 in it, it has a 4 in it, and it, it has a 10 in it. So, it's kind of easy to remember, I think. So, and then you can just build from there, right? 2 to the 4 is 16, multiply by that, or just keep doubling. Makes sense? 2048, 4096, 8192, so on and so forth. Okay, anyways, this is 2 to the 14. And 3 to the 9th power is 27 cubed, right? That will be 19,680. By the way, I made a chart in uh, Google Spreadsheets where I list all the powers of 2, 3, 5, 7, a couple other primes, and then I can kind of pick two numbers and compare them. And you've probably seen them in some of my videos. Anyways, these numbers are eh, pretty close, meh, not bad. So now we're going to compare them. And as you can see from here, it doesn't follow directly, right? It kind of is a weird result. But anyways, these, uh, this gives us the following. 2 to the power 14 is less than 3 to the power 9. So here you notice that uh, the smaller exponent gives us a bigger result because the base is more powerful. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so here's what we're going to do with this. Since uh, 2 to the 14 is less than 3 to the 9th, I'm going to go ahead and compare 9 to, uh, what is 9? Square root of 81. And that is less than square root of 84. Why 84? You're going to see in a little bit. 7 is going to come up from here. And in our, in our original expression, we have a square root of 7. And this contains square root of 7. Make sense? So um, 3 to the 9th is less than 3 to the power 84, because 9 is less than 84. Square root of 84, I mean. And uh, square root of 84 is basically 2 root 21. And 21, square root of 21 contains square root of 7, which we're going to take care of later. And also 14 contains a 7, which is also nice. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully this will make sense. 
Okay, <laughs> let's work it out a little bit more. So now we got the following. Three, 2 to the power 14 is less than 3 to the power 2 times square root of 21. Let's go ahead and get rid of the 2 in the exponent. Raise both sides to the power 1 half. That's good because um, we'll get rid of the 2 and also bring a 7 here instead of the 14. 2 to the 7 must be less than 3 to the power square root of 21. You see what we're getting at. Now we're going to do the following. We're going to write this as 2 to the power square root of 7 times square root of 7. And this as square root of 3 times square root of 7. And guess what? We can go ahead and write it as 2 to the square root of 7. 2 to the power square root of 7 is less than. 3 to the power square root of 3 to the power square root of 7. And then we can go ahead and cancel out the square root of 7 on the outside, right? Which means raising both sides to the power 1 over square root of 7. And you can do it. It's positive. It's good. These are going to cancel out. These are going to cancel out. You end up with 2 to the power square root of 7 is less than 3 to the power square root of 3. But the original problem wasn't asking for that. The bases are radicals, so we still have to take care of that. But that can be easily done. How? We can raise both sides to the power 1 half and the using of uh, using a property of powers of powers or superpowers, we can do the following. We can switch these to exponents. Because if you have a to the power mn, it can be written in two different ways. So they are equal to the same thing. Make sense? So now we can write this as 2 to the power 1 half to the power square root of 7. That is less than 3 to the power 1 half to the power square root of 3. And that implies square root of 2 to the power square root of 7. Square root of 2 to the power square root of 7 is less than square root of 3 to the power square root of 3. Now, you might be wondering, what are the numerical values for these numbers, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the numerical values. Let's see how close they are. And then we're going to go ahead and finish up with this video. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it in Desmos. And as you can see here, square root of 2 to the power square root of 7 is 2.50164, blah, blah, blah. And the other number is 2.589399, so on and so forth. So as you can see here, the square root of 2 to the power square root of 7 is less than square root of 3 to the power square root of 3, which means our second number is going to be greater. But they are pretty close, right? Okay, let's go back to the original screen and finish up with this video. So as you saw with Desmos, this number is less than square root of 3 to the power of square root of 3. So the winner is square root of 3 to the power of square root of 3. That is the greater number. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.